The Polaroid camera was created by Edwin Land in 1948. Edwin was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut. He went to Harvard for a year, but then left for New York City. While in New York, he started to develop the first filters for polarizing light. Edwin thought of the idea of instant cameras when he was on vacation with his daughter. After they took a picture, she asked why they couldn't see the photos immediately. The first modern light camera, which is still used today, was created in 1972 and is called the SX-70. It was the first Polaroid to produce instant color photos. His idea of polarization also contributed to the creation of other inventions, like night vision goggles for World War II. The Polaroid camera works by exposing the film to light, and once the light hits the film, a chemical reaction happens. This chemical reaction forms silver atoms. If you are shooting in black and white, there is one layer of film. But if you are shooting in color, there are three layers. One for green, one for blue, and one for red. Then the film is treated and reacts with the dye developers. We interviewed Mr. Martz, the photo teacher at Drake High School, for more information. All right, um... Did the Polaroid change the way the public took pictures? Yes. <laughs> Introduced in 1947 in black and white, and by the 1950s, this instant picture making was a fad and was popular. Did it change the nature of photography? No. Was it faddish? Yes. In 1963, the color was introduced and it became the look of an age. So Polaroid was another part of popular culture and consumer culture and um, found its niche. It was particularly loved by pop artists. It was instant photography. You walk up to something and there's your, your art comes out immediately. Um, uh, did the Polaroid replace the old ways of film development? No. It just added an option. It was, uh, it was a kind of miracle. You had a small box. You press a button. Three minutes later you peeled apart and you had a photograph. Didn't send it off to a lab. It felt private and special because of that. Um, do you think that the more that more people took to photography when the Polaroid came out? I don't know. Huh? I, I I think it uh, it probably. I don't know the history of the business of Polaroid photography. How could it not? It was very popular. If somebody wasn't interested in film, perhaps they would have bought a Polaroid camera. My father owned a Polaroid camera, although I, did, I think he would have owned a camera otherwise. So I don't know. You'd have to look at the history of the business of Polaroid. See, if it, you're asking if it increased the market for photography. I don't know. <laughs> and last one. Um, do you think the Polaroid, or sorry, wrong one. Uh, why do you think Polaroid stopped producing their film and cameras? Uh, I'll bet you know the answer to that. Do you and your friends use Polaroid cameras or do you use your cell phone to take a picture? Cell phone. Of course. You don't need the Polaroid camera. The regular person doesn't need film anymore in any capacity. We're deep in the digital age. It's 2014. Digital photography is the way photography is going to be made by consumers. Well, it's the way it's being made now. Only fine artists still use film. Before the Polaroid camera, one would have to go into a dark room to manually develop the film in order to see the photo that one had taken previously. But since the invention of the instant camera, people who didn't have access to any dark rooms could easily use one of the Polaroid cameras to create instant memories. It was easily accessible, so one didn't have to be a professional in order to take a picture. The innovation of the Polaroid camera directly contributes to how we take pictures today.